Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is the episode for my Nuclear with Every Assault Rifle series. I only have two more to go. I have this one, which is the SMR, and then I have the SWAT, so two beast gameplays coming up. This is a Nuclear with the SMR, obviously. I believe what I'm using on it is I'm using, uh, I think I'm going semi-auto. I'm just using fast mags and quick draw, some sort of setup like that. Uh, you know, and some things like the SWAT, which will be my next episode, I'll be using it fully auto. But on this one, I kind of have a decent trigger finger, and I kind of like the SMR. I kind of like the idea. It reminds me of the FAL from M. MW2, and I was a beast with that FAL from MW2. So anyway, killstreak setup is the UAV, counter UAV, and the VSAT, and obviously just get a nuclear, which is a 30 gun streak here, playing some 6v6 DOM on the map overflow. So in this video, basically what I'm going to talk a bit about is the gun, because I've never, I don't think I've ever uploaded a gameplay with the SMR before, and I like to obviously mix it up and give you guys tips for every gun, so what I'm going to talk about is how to use the SMR effectively, and the best sort of setup to use with it. So what I recommend with this gun is it's not something that you can rush with, like, full on. As you can see here, I'm kind of creeping the corners, kind of taking it a bit slower, even though this is a, still a decently fast nuclear, only 4 minutes in uh, in 6v6, which is a decent speed, I find. Anything like 3 to 4 minutes in 6v6. 6 is a decent speed, anything 2 to 3 minutes in ground war is a good speed, and that guy has flak jacket right there, but I get him with the wall bang. So with the SMR, you can't really rush balls deep like you'll see me doing with some other assault rifles like the AN-94, or um, you know, an M8A1 even. I, I find with this gun, what I like to use is the B2, B23R as my secondary weapon. I can use that at close range, and then I can just use this to pick people off long range. It works really well. The, it has pretty low recoil. As you can see, that I pick up a nice little double kill for two guys up in there. And the thing works well, and what you gotta use is you kinda gotta maneuver the map in a way that sets you up in positions to win gunfights. And what I mean by that is you kinda gotta maneuver the map in a way that gives you, you know, you, you can go from head glitch to head glitch and uh, play it safe and kinda sort of play play the gun smart and that's how I recommend using this gun and that's how you'll see me do it in this gameplay obviously it's a lot easier when you have the V setup and I was playing solo in this gameplay but when you have the V setup it's a lot easier and you can kind of set up for engagements and that's something that makes it really key is setting up for engagements in Call of Duty and what I mean by that is like right here I see this guy coming I'm gonna sit back you know I, I could have rushed straight up there but I'm gonna sit back for a second and I'm gonna take on this head glitch on the cardboard box it's not even card what am I talking about it's like one of those boxes from Mars Mario Kart, you know, those things that you would, um, I remember there's this one map on Mario Kart, and there's just tons of those boxes you could drift around, Mario, I miss Mario Kart, you know, Double Dash on the GameCube, oh, give me a holla in the comment section below, if you play du Mario Kart Double Dash, or Mario Kart, I don't know what it's even called, the Mario Kart for Wii, that's the one I had, that's the one I played, Double Dash, all that sort of stuff, Mario's a good game, and along with, um, was that thing Mario Party? I remember uh, a few of my friends and me back in the you know back in the elementary school days. We would go up to this lake, or uh, one of the, one of my friends had a family had a cabin up there, and we go up and we would play Mario Party, like Mario Party Eight, Mario Party Seven. I don't even know, and we would play that crap like all day long. I mean, the mini games on that thing were absolutely awesome. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna maybe I should upload some Mario Mario Party Eight gameplays. I'm just messing with you guys, but that was definitely a good game, and uh, definitely hopefully you guys did enjoy these tips with the SMR. As far as my last upload, you guys can check it out in the description below. It was sort of a free-for-all thing I did where I just throw music over a fast free-for-all. Unless you guys kind of took it the wrong way, you guys kind of said like, oh, what do you mean you're throwing music on? Are you quitting commentating? It's like, no. It was just like, I was gonna upload some quick little, um, quick little things with the music, but most of you guys said, you know, you don't really enjoy the music, you enjoy the commentaries, and that's perfectly awesome. I love commentating myself, and I'll be able to, even if it's just a short video, I'll probably just throw a commentary on it, unless it's like only a minute long or something like that. If I get something absolutely beast, then I'll just throw music on it. But definitely, lots of commentaries coming up. And as soon as this video hits up to 1,500 likes, is when I will have. Um, or when I hit 1500 likes is when I will have my next episode up of the nuclear with every gun which is the SWAT so make sure to smash that like button to hell just absolutely destroy it Hulk smash your computer on that like button uh, it's funny some people comment on my videos like uh, hey goblin I smashed the like button so hard that I broke my computer or I broke my iPad you owe me a new one and I'll definitely be getting you those things if you guys uh, I'll definitely get you guys a new iPad if you smash that like button for me so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and make sure to drop a like a like and there's the nuclear and as always sub Subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Ah, uh, look at you. Peace.